So, in my never-ending quest to out-derp myself, I made a discovery during the, um, time that I spent off-camera, and I discovered that the, um, cup of life noodles that Mal got from, what well, I actually don't remember if I got it from a chest or not, um, that's the revival item. For some reason, they don't sell it to you, but m maybe that happens later, but yeah, I definitely could have used that instead of wasting my time going all the way back to Tucson and paying $100 to have Mal revived repeatedly. But in any event, it looks like we can finally move on, because, yeah, as you can see, a boss awaits our confrontation. So with that in mind, greetings people of the world, Matthew back with you here at Novora Autism for the continuation of this blind let's play of Earthbound. So, last time, we made our way back to Tucson to reunite Mal with her parents, which we did. Then we went over to Berglund Park to meet with Mr. Everdred, who gave us a big stack of money, which to this point, we're not sure if it's supposed to be used for its intended purpose, which is to purchase a statue from Mr. Adrate in Onnit. In the meantime, after taking a video review, I discovered that this place um, that I chose to not go too deep into in a previous episode is actually a sanctuary. And so we're supposed to get the eight sounds from these various sanctuaries. And so we've come here to take on the sanctuary boss. Now I said at the end of the last episode that I was going to recover and um, get everyone back up to full. Well, I decided to actually use the Psy Caramel that I got in that one gift box to actually boost up Steven's PP so that it's a little more relevant, I guess I should say. So hopefully we can go on, take on this Sanctuary boss, and hopefully survive. Let's get to it. You finally got here. This is the second your Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. So he says the same thing as the first guy did. Alright, boss duel! Fighting Mondo Mole. And it looks like he's... He's either drooling, or he's been eating honey. <laughs> I have no clue what's going on. Anyway, what I want to do to open is to... Okay, it can only be given to one person at a time. I need to make sure that Steven has his um, healing magic, so we'll go ahead and use regular attacks for him. And I really want um, Mal to be involved, so I'm going to use Psy Freeze B. Let's go ahead and freeze him. Oh, that's it? Oh, what a waste. In the meantime, he made himself stronger. Good to know. Um, what about... Isn't it worth it to do this? Not really. And there's why. Uh, so yeah, I guess Steven is on his own here. We're gonna heal Mal. She will defend this turn. Okay. Let's bash his brains in. Yeah, I'll only have Mal use... I'll only have Mal use anything if I have to. And Mal is dead. Oh, man. I'm so pissed right now. You have no clue. You have no idea. gets hurt collapses so yeah you throw me to this and he recovers I'm gonna burn I'm gonna burn myself out from fighting this guy his offense goes up again he now is protected by a side shield he does it again ow and I win the medal with Mal being dead. Should we really be surprised? And Steven gets, naturally, all the points. 5,800 of them. He's up to level 24. His offense is up by 3. Defense up by 1. Speed up by 2. Guts up by 3. IQ up by 2. Luck up by 1. Maximum HP up by 1. And PP up by 9. 
and realizes the power of healing betas. We still don't have a raised spell. Thankfully, I do have a cup of life noodles. We're giving them to Steven. And then we are using them on Mal. Ugh. Mal, you, you definitely need to seriously figure out a way to save yourself, girl. Or rather, I need a revival spell is what I need. What I need is a revival spell to sit, have some remote sort of a chance of keeping Mal alive, because if she just keeps dying, like, she's no good to me. Alright, Steven briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. Was it Mario? You've been playing Yoshi's Island, haven't you? Steven Soundstone recorded the melody of the Lilliput Steps. Or on Gulliver's Travels, huh? Yeah, too bad the travels don't include poor Mal surviving. I feel so bad for her because she's go having to go through so much. And she, obviously, she's still so underleveled that it's really hard to see her keep dying like this. Like, I'm, I really am genuinely trying to do everything I can to keep her alive. It's just a shame that things are going the way that they are, and I don't like it. I just wish there was a way to, like, save her once in a while, if I could. How much does she need for the next level? 96, okay. Well, one more enemy will get the job done then. So Mal did gain her level, but now I need to get out of this place. Um, how did I do it last time? Um, don't tell me I'm stuck in here. Please do not tell me that I'm stuck in here. Okay, come on. I want out. I'm done with this place. I accomplished everything I needed to. Like, I'm done here. Uh Game, you're not helping me right now. You're kind of not getting on my good side. Right, I, th I think this is actually closer to what I'm supposed to be near. Okay, yeah, I'm not actually chasing the moles away. Do I get an automatic victory? I do. Yeah, I want free experience. I want free experience. Ah, where did you go, you little coward? Now suddenly, enemies like this are automatic kills. Wait, wait a- Hey, I got- Okay, last time I had no issues and I got the kill. I got an automatic victory. Why didn't it happen this time? You are not making any sense, game. You are making no sense! And that time I did get the automatic win. Like I said, no sense! Anyway, I, th I think I'm actually supposed to go up here. And... pow. Free experience. And again. Again. Pow, free experience. Yeah, he smiles as he goes to his grave. Let's get out of here. Alright, I want to go into the drugstore because, do they really not sell, um, life noodles? No, they don't. Ah, so how much money is in my account? Because I have put most of my money in the, in there, whoa, $4,200. Um, yeah, I'm thinking, like... Maybe I need, um, to hold on to my money a little better. Because, yeah, if I have a situation where... It's a good thing that they allow you to actually deposit your money, because if I went into a situation where, um, I get stuck again, getting killed, it's better that I have less money than I do 
um, than if I have more. So I'm gonna go ahead and start making the long trip back to Tucson. And maybe we'll finally figure out what's going on here, because... Yeah, if I speak with Everdread again, maybe he'll give me the solution to why um, I was not able to give the money to Mr. Adrate. So, I'll be back in a moment once I have this all figured out. Okay, so, made it back to Tucson. Um, Steven and Mal both gained experience levels off camera, so they are now at... I believe Steven is at 25, and Mal is now at 18. Yeah, Mal's finally coming along on experience levels after dying so much. Yeah, it's a shame we couldn't have gotten her any experience from that boss duel. But yeah, she definitely needs her stats up in the worst way. So, in trying to figure out where the Wad of Bills is supposed to go, I actually thought it was supposed to go to Mr. Adrate and on it in order to buy that one statue that Everdread was talking about. Um, so I chucked, looked it up on video review and it turns out that's not where you use the money. Which is strange, cause yeah, you talk about using... Uh, I, I guess maybe I was reading it wrong um, when Everdread spoke to me a couple of episodes ago. But, no, apparently you're supposed to use the $10,000 that Everdread gave you to come to Chaos Theater, where the Runaway Five are performing. I sh um, showed off these guys in a previous episode, but yeah, we want to actually speak to these guys. You're with a girl today. He must be pretty popular. How about introducing her to my bandmate? He's right there. Hey, you came with Mal! Then you deserve a present, playboy. I'm not you, Hefner. Screw you! Here's a backstage pass. You can get under our shows with this. And so, Steven got the backstage pass. With that backstage pass, you can even get into our dressing room. Woo! <laughs> come with your girlfriend. We'll be waiting. Hey, come on, guys. Don't put on any unnecessary moves. Oh. I know that music. It's this guy again. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, so I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Alright, I know what I want to say. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles! Cock and Balls! Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. And away he goes again. Yeah, I, I have another one in case he does it again. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. What are you talking about? I just, I just saved off camera. It may be none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? No. Ah, I see. Well, it doesn't make me happy, but I understand that your point about the fate of the world being at stake. Yeah. Yeah, I just say I saved off camera on the way to coming here. I called my dad and told him I wanted to say hi and save my game. I guess I lost my ticket, so now I can't get in. The ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. Hello there. Oh, please, was that, was that your ticket? Oh, um... What about if I show you my backstage pass? Then what? Here you go, hurry! You're just in time to see the Runway 5 show! Thank you. So yeah, do we just take a seat wherever and get started? Um, hello there. When I sit close to the stage, sometimes I get sweaters spit on me from the Runway 5. And that makes you smile, doesn't it? <laughs> Seeing the Runaway 5 on stage is my life! I'm sure it is. Who are you talking to? Um, this lady right here? You kids are bouncing around talking to everyone, it's getting annoying. Well, excuse me, I just want to find a seat if I may. What about you, Mr. T? Are you unfair like you really gets in the Runaway 5's music? Wow, I'm impressed! I pity for the fool who doesn't appreciate the Runaway 5! I'm changing my clothes now, don't come in. <laughs> <coughs> well then, where do I go? Lucky if the Runaway 5 told me I could go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it. Can you please take me with you, please? Please, please? I, I could post this your sister. Yes, this rocks. Let's go. Ooh, my heart is pounding. Oh, okay. So now we can go inside. Like, I want to be with you guys so bad! Hey there. 
Shabadoo wop. Oh, are you trying to be a little Richard? Wop bop doo bop wop them doo toot a fruit eh? Oh, a fruit eh? I got those debt blues. Mm -hmm. If I had $10,000, I could pay off my debts. So, yeah. Here's where it's used. Yeah. I, I was thinking it was supposed to be given to Adrian, but it wasn't the case. I wonder if our bus still runs and maybe rusted out. And what about you? Well, yeah, in the old days, there were lots of dances and acts at this theater. Except now, we're the only act playing here. We even got into debt here, so we're pretty near stuck. So how'd that happen? The folks of Tucson will enjoy the Runway sh 5 show for quite a few years. So, looks tame. <coughs> I should not have done that Mr. T impression, because it's costing me my throat. I'm so excited, I just might wipe my, myself. My heart is going pitter-patter. I wrote the lyrics to most of the Runway 5 songs. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what is hot. Money, that's what I want. Oh no, I, it, I should be... That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. <laughs> Money, it's what we ain't got. So freedom, freedom, freedom is what we really saw. <laughs> yeah, I remember that really annoying song from back in the 80s, like... Who came up with that? I want some bread. I need the coinage. I want more dough all the time. And you? Hey, you get to see our show, you lucky kid. I hope you pay attention. Well, I will if I'm allowed to take a seat. Do I leave now, or...? Well, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, we've been through this. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. I don't care. It looks like tame, I know. I, th I think I know what you mean, but yeah, it is tame. Okay, now we're allowed to continue. Yeah, that's right! Tonight, you got the Chaos Theater's Soul Man coming at ya! Rocking and rolling live on this stage for a limited time only! And for some reason, I don't believe that. The world's greatest blues men, the Runaway Five! And here they come! Oh yeah, baby! How come there's only four of them? And now we have two more people. We've got the Runaway 6, not the Runaway 5. Is like one of them supposed to be their roadie or something? Yeah, you do the moonwalk there, Blues Brothers. Yeah, and Dosey Doe while you're at it, too. And yeah, this is the Runaway 6, not the Runaway 5. Yeah, it's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. <laughs> They're on a mission from God. Yeah, th that's who that's in that's what inspired this, wasn't it? Was the Blues Brothers, Dan Aykroyd and John Belushi. Getting their groove on. Yeah, they are on a mission from God. Yeah, you get your groove on, and when. Where did all the other patrons go? I just realized, where are all the other patrons? Okay, so all of you guys just bailed and missed out on the opening act! <laughs> Come in quick, don't be shy! <laughs> wow. So what do you think? Do you want to see one more show? No, I'm good. So our sound is too much for you, right? I figured as much. Um... I just want to advance the plot because, yeah, I'm supposed to, after watching that video review, I'm supposed to give the $10,000 to, um, someone. Oh, pardon me. Do we give it to you? You want to see Poochie Fudd, the manager? <laughs> right through this door, please. Alright. Hello there, Poochie Fudd. The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years, unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> well, apparently that's according to the video review. That's exactly what I'm supposed to do. Oh, okay. I need to. I I know. I know what I need to do. Goods. Mal, hand this gentleman a wad of bills, please. Excuse me. What's that you got there? Let me take a look. Let me take a real close look. And. Okay, yeah, I'm supposed to give you the money. 
Like, shut up and take my money! You don't think these are real, do you? Are, are you serious? Are, are you really serious? I guess I lost my ticket, so now I can't get in. Yeah, I guess I lost the money, but it's still with me for some reason. Like, yeah, we did, we did this already. Like, come on. Shut up and take my money! Shut up and take my money! Yipes! You surprised me. Now I'm not sure what to do. Yeah. Yeah, I got you your money. Now the Runaway Five are free to leave, thankfully. You stupid moron. I have your money. Shut up and take it! I've got no complaints now that I have my money. Ugh. Damn, driving me up the wall. Well, what do you know? This little nipper took us from a nightmare to a dream. Yeah, it looks like they're saying, we quit. <laughs> I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. Alright, let's move on to the next town. I'm sure old hunk of junk will get us there. I didn't make a spectacle myself, did I? Yeah. Shut up and take my money! Alright, so we talked to you to get moving? Let's go to three. At last! Our tour bus is too loud for any ghost to bother us. You wanna ride? Oh, yeah! Let's go, get on the bus. Um, I wanna get on the bus, please. Alright, so you have to go in through the front. Okay, guys, here we go. Yeah, shut up and take my money! <laughs> Oh, I'll, I'll be thinking about that one for a while. Shut up and take my money! <laughs> well, I wonder if I can still come back here and get some... or and get some more inventions from Apple Kid and Orange Kid. But yeah, screw those stupid ghosts too in the tunnel that were harassing the crap out of us. Like, man, oh man. Jesus, it's a long way to get to three. Sorry there, buff guy. Now we get to go past the ghosts and they- Yeah. Chase me! Catch me if you can! It ain't gonna work. Catch me if you can, cause it ain't gonna work. And why are there ghosts in here anyway? Anyway. Freedom! 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 And I don't care about what you say! Yes. Looks like we have to say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy, but I'm sure you can lighten up the place with your own little brain of sunshine. Yeah, I do see the dead trees, so... Yeah. Hope to see you again sometime, with your scary face. Look for us to be singing at some theater in Foreside. Alright, be on your way. So why is this place so gloomy? Well, I would at the very least like to be able to... Find a save point, get a phone, and find out. Um, we're going to buy, I guess? Um, ooh, we're getting to take a step up. Good thing I withdrew all that money. Oh, but I'm, but I'm kind of full on inventory. I did pick up a bomb previously. Um, no. Um, I want to give my, I'm going to give the bomb to Mal. Which seems like the most appropriate thing to do. Yeah, we're just gonna give Mal this bomb. <laughs> yeah, and trust her with a deadly explosive. Why not? This will be Steven carrying this. We'll equip it here. Getting 11 extra points on offense. Please buy my Saint Lot bat. We are now going to buy a thick frying pan for Mal. Mal is, of course, taking it. She's equipping it, getting 10 extra points on offense. And then, we are going to get our hands on. Okay, so, wait a minute, is that Mal already equipped with a hard hat? Or is she just... Or maybe it's not better than what she currently has. That's why her icon doesn't flash. What do you have, sir? 
You have cold serum, cold remedy, vital serum, refreshing herb, toothbrush, and a calorie stick. Is the vital serum the revival item? I wish I knew, to be honest. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and deposit my money. We're going to deposit... Um, we'll deposit $3,000. Alright. How did we get so much money? Anyway, let's look at the map. Hotel is above me. And the desert is to the east. And it looks like there's, like... What are those things at the top of the map? Are they, like, new developments or something? Like, new developments under construction? Welcome to the circus. Oh, the circus is in town. That's nice. Well, it won't be nice if we can't figure out how to move on here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and pick up the phone. Because, first of all, I want to um, deposit some stuff. Yes, please. And yeah, we're going to get them to take some stuff off my hands. So, yeah, we're, I guess we're just waiting for the escargot expressman to show up. And here he comes. Hello there. I can cover the bill. We are asking you to take the backstage pass. We are asking you to take um the bomb. And we're also asking you to take the Toothbrush. You're taking a backstage pass, bomb and toothbrush. This is correct. Alright. And Pigpen, it looks like your extended family is here in Threed as well. Anyway, let's go ahead and finally save the game. It's your dad. To get to the next level, you need these points. We are saving. Ha! Ah, indeed. Yeah, well, as always, we have work to do, but we are accomplishing what we needed to do. After taking a video review, we finally get to move on to the next town. And so now we gotta figure out what's going on around here, because it seems like every town has some sort of problem that needs to be solved by us. It almost feels like you're in an episode of Pokemon where a town has some sort of problem and it's only up to Ash and his friends and their Pokemon to correct it. And of course, Team Rocket intervenes at some point, and they usually get their butts kicked. But anyway, we'll see what Threed's problem is in the next episode. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of this Blind Let's Play of Earthbound. And when I join you again, we will go around town, because apparently we get another friend here, so it looks like we may get Dan to join us here. And with that, we should have a party of three, and then we will see what we have to do to accomplish here in the town of Threed. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.